All right, welcome to the championship portion of our Elite Eight Championship Game press conference. Tonight, Lubbock Christian has repeated as Division II Women's National Champions and completed a 23-0 season by defeating Drury by the final score of 69-59, to their third overall Division II National Championship. Members of the media that are joining us, please use the Q&A feature of this Zoom conference and ask your question. I will read your questions to our guest, and please make sure you indicate which person that you would like the question asked. Joining us is head coach Steve Gomez, and also senior Emma Middleton, and senior and most outstanding player, Ali Schulte. Media members, go ahead and begin submitting your questions. And Coach Gomez, congratulations if you'd like to. Uh, basketball's a crazy game. Uh, you can see from like tonight, it's never gonna satisfy you. Even when winning, we think of what we could have done better, but at the same time, we had some fortunate breaks. I mean, to have this opportunity again uh, and to squeak another one out is really fortunate. I appreciate Drury, man, that's a scrappy team. They had it all the way back from 20 to four points. So that's a lot of credit to those, those kids. They're tough, a well-coached team. And we just uh, finally got a few buckets to fall and made some free throws. But uh, I thought we defended really well most of the night. Uh, I thought we tried to limit their uh, scores, although Paige scored 20 points. I thought we made it a little tough on her. Uh, but just the team defense over the course of the game uh, was very helpful for us. It allowed us to survive one more time. Uh, just appreciate these seniors, you know, five seniors. you got to rely on them just to be clutched at the right times, and they have been. Open with a statement, please. Thank you, Coach. We'll begin our questions. They start with Pete Christie. Coach Gomez adding another title. What does this mean to LCU and Lubbock? <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's a good question. There's... There's so many important things going on in the world that, uh, I mean, hopefully it's good. It's a, it's a neat uh, accomplishment, but it's, you know, I don't think it's going to change anybody's life. It's, it's a great honor to look back on when these girls are old and grandmas, but uh, at the same time, we appreciate the support from Lubbock. We had so many people, uh, you know, sending messages, videos, social media. I don't, I don't even know what's on social media. I don't ever look, but I find out a lot of stuff that's going on. I appreciate it. These girls love it. Uh, and they're, uh, very much appreciative of the community support we get there. So hopefully it's an encouragement for Lubbock and uh, you know all the sports at LCU, at Tech, to continue to excel and give the community something to root for. Coach, question from Ryan King. Uh, your team got off to a very fast start tonight. You hit five of your first seven threes. Did it seem like you were ever going to miss a three in that first quarter? <laughs> yeah, that, what, what, that really saved us today, just to get off, because after that, then we started throwing the ball to the other team. So it was sort of nice when we passed to our team, we made shots. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, when you're making threes like that, it's an exciting, it's encouraging. You also don't want to just fall in love and just think we're just going to jack it up every time we catch it. Uh, so we ended up scoring some in the paint as well. And uh, it was a good versatile game, but that start always calms the, the tenseness in your team and in, in your coaches. Uh, to get off to a lead, but you always know they're going to be coming back. But I'd sure rather start out with a lead than a deficit. Coach, you've won three national championships. What makes this team a little more distinct than the other two titles? <laughs> uh, I mean, we've had some goofy teams. Uh, this really might take the cake of these teams in terms of uh, just team unity and uh, team joyfulness and finding ways to just have fun no matter what the situation is. Again, I, I know a lot of teams do that. But, uh, this team has taken it to a different level, I think, this year. And uh, that's made it fun because the instability of the year, you need to have people you enjoy being around because there's always something that's going to change. Uh, and they've handled that with great maturity. This question from Ryan King, and it's for both of our student athletes. Ali, you can go ahead and start first. What does it feel like to win this game after having the season come to an abrupt halt and the cancellation of the tournament a year ago? Um, obviously it feels great. We kind of had some unfinished business last year, as did a lot of teams, but we were pretty upset about it because we knew we had the potential to repeat. And so to be able to do it this year is great. Emma, go ahead and follow up. I'm just um, thankful for our leadership last year and our seniors were so amazing. And even this year, they were texting us, supporting us, encouraging us. And I want to be like that. So they're good leaders for that. Again, for our two players, uh, Ali, you can go ahead and start. Jury had a little 17 to two run. They got it down to a four point game. 
Uh, where did the strength come from to finally put a stop to that comeback and make sure you guys finish the game strong? Uh, we knew they were fully capable of doing that because they had a, a few games where they had come back from that deficit. So, I mean, we said in our minds to not relax, but it kind of happened. And so I guess just keep pushing and get some stops, make our free throw. Emma, your thoughts? I I think that I probably let myself get a little frazzled with their physicality, but I'm just proud of our team because you got to rely on everyone. So a lot of my teammates were just emotionally steady. And even though I was kind of frazzled, I think they pulled me into it and were like, hey, you got to get it together and, and be steady here. So I was thankful. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll go back to you here, Allie. Again, we talked about the team shooting so well in the very beginning. How were you able to be relaxed, the team relaxed, from the very beginning of this game tonight? Uh, well, we're confident in all of our shooters, and any five on the court can hit the three whenever the time comes, and we're confident in each other, and definitely helps whenever you're hitting the first quarter. That definitely helped us this game, and so... A uh, question from Ryan King again for you, Allie. Um, I think there's a little bit of tongue in cheek in there in this question. Do you have a favorite title between the 40 that you won at Nazareth and now these two here at LCU? Um, no, but I can't. <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, a national championship has a little better ring than a state championship, but Coach, how did you your team handle this season as opposed to maybe your previous two title runs? Obviously, in 16, you had just made the transition to Division II. Two seasons ago, you're still kind of a little bit of the, of the darling, the Cinderella, if you will. But now you've got that bullseye on you being the number one team, the long win streak, the long home win streak. So how different, when you look at it from that perspective, have you guys had to kind of change your mindset of uh, attacking things now? You know, I, I hope not. I hope we just we just want to play a good possession. I mean, for us, we just think what's in front of us. I mean, we've had a motto for years and years: just go one and out today. You know, some days you're going to lose the day. You just don't live it right. You make some mistakes, whatever it is, sports or whatever, and you just got to start new the next day and try to improve. So I just think these kids are mature enough to know. You know, hey, what we did today is great, but we've got to move on to something else and keep improving and just keep striving for excellence. It doesn't mean you always succeed and win, but if we're heading towards excellence, good things will happen. And that's how these kids are, though. In the classroom, they're tremendous. You know, uh, out in the community, they're tremendous. And on the court, they've been pretty tremendous, too. Coach, you said late in the season that you wanted to see Madeline Turner shoot more. Uh, tonight, she did. What did you think of her play this evening? What a great way to get us off to a good start. I mean, uh, she, you know, again, she's a really good shooter. The percentages haven't shown her all year, but when she gets it going, she's good. She can drive and score and she can shoot it deep. And I know fields in the first quarter were just really good momentum building shots for us. And, you know, I appreciate her steadiness because, you know, she doesn't always get opportunities to score as much as some of the others as a point guard. Sometimes she's running us into offense as opposed to receiving. Uh, so very mature part, uh, and her defense has been um, really good, uh, taking charge of stuff in the past that she, you know, wouldn't always do in, in earlier years. But this year, it's really been a great improvement. So, uh, yeah, hats off to her for her huge contribution to this year. Uh, coach, uh, question here. Have you thought about the contrast between winning your first national championship in an NBA arena at the D1 Final Four and tonight winning one in an intimate setting uh, where you only had the 36 fans here this evening. <laughs> such a dichotomy. I mean, it's such a change in uh, environment, although I mean, it's the same result. But yeah, to be in Banker's Life with, you know, 10,000 people and, uh, you know, obviously it's a different feel. But the intensity of the game and the music here was so loud, it felt like we were in, uh, you know, the Astrodome back, or, I mean, just a major concert, it was awesome. Uh, so the, the energy was great. A lot of it had to do with our bench, too. Our, the players on our bench create such an atmosphere of excitement. Uh, so honestly, I didn't think, as the game was going on, you don't think of who's watching how many. You're just into the moment. Uh, 
but then at the end of the game, it's, you know, it not as many people in the stands to have to shake hands and wave at. So maybe help us get to dinner quicker. <laughs> Madeline, I saw you smile a little bit right there when he began to answer the question about the music being so loud. I saw a look on your face in the last time out when the music started. Did Coach say something funny in that last time out that you might recall? Um, I think it was. I almost say something funny. No, no. <laughs> it was, I think he was just trying to say something and he couldn't get it out because the yeah. music's loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I stopped and looked up like, wow, that is loud in here. But uh, they don't listen anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, Coach, looks like we'll, we'll uh, close this on the last one. Uh, the third time for this. Um, maybe you guys have the celebration thing figured out. How do all three of you plan to celebrate here this evening? <laughs> yeah. Now, we've got a dinner set, set up back at the hotel that uh, they've been tremendous. Man, Columbus has been awesome. Had, what a great opportunity. And the NCAA just making it work in a bad situation. But we're going to go back. You know, win or lose, we're going to go back and have a great season ending. A dinner with the families that are here and some that were here in town that didn't get to come to the games even so uh we'll just have a good meal and then tomorrow we'll fly back to lubbock and get to see all our buddies back there okay we did have one last one come in and this is pertinent for both of our student athletes uh please both of you answer this what are your plans now moving forward next year that's a good question i i haven't personally decided yet um our program is really good about like coach gomez teaches us like basketball is not everything. So I think we're pretty well able to move on and go on with our lives or stay back and play another year. So I haven't decided. I I'm about 99% sure I'll probably come back. Oh, like that. That'll make a lot of Lubbock Christian Lady Shap fans very happy, Allie, if you if you make that decision. Uh, congratulations, Lubbock Christian 23 and 0. You win your second consecutive national championship. Championship third overall with a 69-59 win over Drury coach Gomez, Emma, and our most outstanding player, Ali Shulgin. Congratulations. Safe travels home. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.